Hey YouTube, um, in this video I'm going to tell you how I got my Little Big Planet crown. Um, first of all, it has absolutely nothing to do with anything on YouTube, anything I've done on Little Big Planet. Um, it's actually something I did around two to three years ago for Little Big Podcast. So, um, basically, I like to watch Little Big Podcast a lot, and um, I noticed they have little art submission things where they uh, they uh, show around the art that people have sent in and stuff. So, basically, what I did is I just went to Michael's Craft Store. And I just I just got some colored paper and I randomly. Uh, like I've never made paper craft ever before just decided to do this for no reason at all so um, I just made a bunch of paper craft uh, things and when I sent them in they they uh, put them on the show and uh, yeah here's a little clip of all of them Okay, then we have Josh W. who made this incredible negativitron. Yeah. And I said it right that time. Yeah, it's a blabbering there. What did I, I don't even remember I, what I used no, to say. Because if I start saying what I used to say, anyway. But, yeah, that's well, really you cool. Yeah, yeah, he made this really cool paper negativitron. And it's, it's like, no, he didn't just draw it, he made it 3D too. So he like colored it in, and then he kind of... Cut yeah, pieces yeah, out, glued them together, taped them together, you know, whatever, and then he has this. You know, I kind of really forgot cool. that the negativitron used to be much less. It did. Intimidating. It did. I mean, it was like kind of just. In, in the beta, there there were a lot of things that <coughs> changed in the beta. We can talk about those later. But the the negativitron right. did in fact used to. Work. Right, first so up, we have some art. The first one is from Josh W, and he made a, an awesome a three D sackbot. Uh, don't yes. know how, quite how tall it is, but it looks at least eight inches. And I think it was taller than it that. was incredible. It looks just like a sackbot. I doubt it moves, but it's very cool. Right. And yeah, congrats. Good job. We have some very talented art and modeling people we in have our some community. Art that yeah. you guys sent in. We have a paper bounce pad by Josh W. Yes. Um this was really cool. He sent us in a picture last week of a uh, paper sackbot that he made, and then this week he has a paper bounce pad. One's from Josh W, and it's a controlinator. Correct? Now, um, he actually made one with paper, and it's a 3D kind of design of it, and I thought I thought it was like super cool. And he said that he's going to do one every week. Awesome. So this is the same Josh W that's been doing all the other. Yes, and he's going to keep this doing week. It. He so has a paper microchip. Now this is pretty sick. I liked it. Yeah, he said it was going to be a quick thing that he would just do for us every week, and he didn't do one yet this week, so he figured he'd make something like a microchip real quick, but it actually turned out looking pretty yeah, decent. Yeah, super cool. So, very, very, very cool stuff. The piece that I have for sure is from Josh W., and it's a paper sequencer. Now this guy, i got to give him props, has yeah. been making us a paper device, or a paper, you know, whatever you want to call it, every day. And so it's been really awesome. Looks great. Week. Every week. Every week. Wow. I'm. If you can't tell, we're still really out of it, even though we got 12 hours. I'm not out of it. I'm, t I'm correcting you for so, that. Um, Last week, Josh Ware, he sent us his paper art, as always, but it was a little bit too late to get it on the show. He added words to the Media Molecule logo that he made, and it's legit. It's super cool. So uh, props to him. Good job. Keep up the great work. So, yeah, that that's really cool that they put those on there. Um, but a little while ago, uh, I checked Twitter and I was following, uh, Media Molecule and Little Big Planet, and they tweeted that they were live streaming as they were making papercraft for, uh, their new game Tearaway for the Vita, and, uh, they were making cutouts and stuff. I'm not really sure exactly what they were doing, maybe just to put it around the office. But, um, I was watching their live stream on Twitch, and, uh, I was just sort of talking to them and stuff like that. And, uh, remember, I made those paper crafts like two years ago, so I couldn't remember them. But then I did remember about them, and I never deleted my emails is, that's how I sent them in, it was through email, and I haven't changed my e email, and I've never deleted any, so I went, like, way back into Gmail, and, uh, I did find my paper crafts, and 
I put them all in in al in an album on Imager dot com, and I'm gonna put that uh, the original album that I made in the description, so you can look at all the ones I made, uh, including one that never actually made it onto the Little Big Podcast, which was ironically a crown. So, so yeah, that never made it on there, but I made it, and Spaff liked it a lot. So, um, yeah, I just put the album into, uh, the chat on Twitch, and, like, a bunch of people from Media Molecule, like, crowded around the laptop, and, uh, looked at them, and commented on them really nice, and, uh, when they saw the crown, Spaff actually said he thinks that these deserved a crown, and... I was freaking out, so there's there's kittens in the background. <laughs> They're kitten. So yeah, um, Spaff really seemed to like them a lot, and um, he actually asked <clears throat> he asked me uh, like the next day what region I was in because he he was gonna actually send me one, and. Uh, yeah, so I, I got it from Spaff, and it worked, and yeah. So, the reason I have my crown isn't because I have any subscribers or any hearts or any plays. It's because I did something three years ago, <laughs> and I don't think they know anything at all about any of my levels or any of my videos or anything. Um... So, yeah, that's really cool. But, um, I've heard a lot of rumors about people who, like, I don't know if they're rumors, but people keep saying that, like, the only way to get a crown is to get an MM pick or to, uh, get, like, a thousand hearts or something. I, th that, that's not true at all. So, if, if you know someone or you heart for heart in order to uh, get a crown, it, it doesn't work like that at all. Um, crowns are awarded mostly to crafts outside of Little Big Planet. I'm not saying that like if you send them in anything at all at any time that they'll like accept it and like give you a crown for anything, but I just got really lucky at the time because I made those, I never deleted them after like so long, um, I just happened to see the tweet that they were live streaming, it just all worked out, so I just, I just got incredibly lucky. So um, yeah, uh, I'm Glitchmaster7. I'm happy with my crown, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, hope you enjoy my videos in the future, and, uh, goodbye.